Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you the customization options of the home screen on Airtame. To change the settings of your home screen, you have to go to airtame.cloud. Then you log in and you arrive at this home screen. First of all, you have a list of all your devices. Uh, currently I only have one, but if you have like a company or if you have a school and you're an IT administrator and you have to manage all the air teams in your school, then this is the way to do it. You can just check off, um, for example, this one, and they can either reboot it, edit it, or even remove it off your managing system. Now here's what I want to talk to you about, which is the home screen, which is currently in beta, but actually it's working very well. Um, so this is how it looks like right now. You get a screenshot of how your home screen looks at the moment, and it gets refreshed every time you change it. I will click on it, and I can press on edit. So this also means you can uh, select multiple home screen or multiple air teams and then edit the home screen of all of them at the same time. So currently have image set as an app. The overlay is like, it will show you your IP address. If you've seen my previous videos, you know what I mean. So the IP address is usually projected together with the, the network you're connected to and even a whole guide. If you just guide over here, then people can know how to connect to the Airtame. But in this case, I just set it to none. And then you can even change the color of the overlay. You can even choose your hex uh, color number. Then you have the screen orientation over here. So you can choose for portraits. Very interesting for screens that are uh, placed vertically. Okay, now you can switch app and you can choose between six apps currently image website world clock unsplash google slides and trello trello is really interesting for people who collaborate now though it could also be interesting in the classroom personally i don't i don't really need that so i won't be using it i will be using something else which i've shown you in the intro of this video and i'll come back to that a bit later first let's see the default options with website you can choose any website you want to display on your home screen for example the website of your business or school or a website uh, that you've created specially for your air team. So that could be interesting. That I'll be using a bit later in this video. Then we have World Clock. This you've also seen already in my video. So you can choose, for example, Brussels in this case, or Copenhagen, or you can call it anything you'd like, um, your own hometown, for example. Or me, what I've done is just type hello, or hi class, for example, or welcome. You can also type over there. And you can add maximum three clocks, which is interesting if you're a business and you have branches in uh, several states in the US or if you have one in the US, one in Mumbai or one in London. Let me also have Unsplash. This will turn your uh, your home screen into a nice slideshow. You can choose certain categories. You can really just type for example I want pictures from Paris, I want pictures from Rome and from Oslo. Then you'll see that you will have 2408 images which will just circulate every minute for example. You can choose how uh, often they will be refreshed. For example, if you're a French teacher or an English teacher, you can choose uh, pictures from a certain city, for example, from Paris, to just show Paris pictures, for example. Next is Google Slides. Uh, you have to connect it to Google and then you can choose which presentation will be presented or will be played on your Airtame. And this also means that if you edit your Google presentation, then it will also update on your screen. Now you might think, oh, there are only six, that's not really much. But with website, you can really do many things. On their website, they have tons of options of a possible home screens that you can set as a website on your air team. Now what I wanted was a home screen that shows a nice background, a clock, and especially a calendar, a Google calendar, that displays all the upcoming tests for the students that I'm teaching. So while I'm not connected to the air team, they can see the upcoming tests and be reminded of them. So I found this website called dacboard.com and with dacboard you can do exactly what I just mentioned. So I'll just show you all the options over here. So you have to register dacboard.com. It is free. Uh, if you choose to go premium, you can do more stuff, but for the basic stuff, for the basic things, uh, Dagboard free is actually just enough. Layouts, you can choose Yeah, you can choose how it looks like, a big calendar, for example, if you only have a small screen, that could be interesting. You can choose where you want to have the backgrounds coming from. Dagboard itself has wonderful pictures. But you can also choose from Apple Photos, from Google Photos, maybe photos from your class or photos from your business that you've set uh, in, that you've uploaded in Google Photos. Or from Instagram, which is also interesting if you use Instagram for your business or for your school and you can choose your interval now if you go anywhere below two minutes then you'll have to pay extra for this premium feature then this is the interesting part calendars you can enable this you can choose how many days you want to show so how far in the future um, you're going 
location and time. Now here I've added one calendar. I could add a second one if I would like called deadlines. Now I have a school system where you have to add tests digitally to a list at school here so students can always uh, see what they have to do online and that list I can export. So I'm actually very fortunate to have this kind of system. If you don't have that system, you can just add a Google Calendar. Make your own Google Calendar and add an event on any day you'd like to uh, remind yourself and to remind your students that you have a deadline. Uh, for example for a test or something that they have to bring on a certain day and then it will just appear on your screen every time you're not connected to your air team. Date and time uh, you can set over here, you can choose your time zone, we all over the world of course. For weather you can choose a location, for example Oslo, you can choose your weather source whichever you would like or you can turn it off if you'd like as well. News, if you find it interesting to add a news feed from a certain news site, to do, a to-do list, you can add a to-do list Microsoft to do or wonder list list to your uh, home screen you can add a custom message but I think this one is a premium feature and they have some certain settings so you the name I called it Airtame in this case my language and here you get a private link so this link is the one that you have to copy so just copied it right now and that you have to paste here in websites so then you can paste it over here in websites in your Airtame cloud. You can choose how often it gets reloaded. I'll just choose 10 minutes and I'll hit save and apply. And there is my home screen. So this was a detailed review of the home screen on the Airtame. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and you'll find all the links that you need in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.